What's good, YouTube? DM Gaming here. Hope everybody's having an awesome day, morning, evening, night. Y'all know how it is. All gas, no brakes. Whenever it is that you're watching this video, I hope that it's awesome. Guys, I want to go back over some Road to Glory stuff in today's video um, and kind of dispel some of the myths as well as possibly give a little bit more details uh, on what other people's experience was with this Road to Glory presentation that they experienced while at ea so first what i want to do i want to jump into this trailer now this is the campus legend trailer from ncaa football 08 now the reason i'm showing you this is because guys our new road to glory in ea sports college football 25 is going to mirror some of this if that makes sense and I know some of some of the newer people to college football, some of y'all who may not have been born until 2008 or six or seven, you know, and may not have ever experienced campus legend and how it was may not know. So let's go through this trailer. Um, I'm going to put it on mute because I don't want to get no kind of copyright or whatever like that. Um, <clears throat> and I'll, I'll pause through some of the details whenever we get to certain screens. Well, we probably can. Let's see room and on the gridiron if you want to be enshrined in your school's Hall of Fame. Yeah, in this mode, you will live the life of a student athlete from performing drills for scouts. Okay, so we'll stop right there. First of all, performing uh, drills for scouts. So in Campus Legend, you didn't play through high school. Uh, what you did was you performed drills. And it was the same way in Madden. They shared those concepts. You did drills. And in doing drills, you would have a certain score and your score dictated what star your player was. I want to say you even got to run 40s in some of these things. But um, and they were real position position uh, specific drills that you could create a cornerback. Um, I want to say a free safety, maybe a strong safety, um, a wide receiver, halfback. Uh, and a quarterback and I think a linebacker, but I don't think you can create D lineman at this point, you know, but anyway, so this is how you got your ratings. Now in this year's rendition of road to glory, you will just simply pick your rating. So you'll get to pick your star. If you want to start out from a one star or if you want to be a five star. Now this isn't anything new guys. Don't be alarmed. Because in previous Madden games, it was the same way. Before now, where you do drills and stuff to up your draft stock and things like that, in older Madden games, you would uh, simply pick if you wanted to be a six-round pick or you wanted to be a mid-round pick or you wanted to be a first-round draft pick. And let me say how that felt doing that. It created a sense for the individual to kind of mold and shape their own story and i get it playing the high school games you're essentially doing that as well but guys let's be honest about the high school part of road to glory well, before we move on was it cool yes i could physically kind of replay my high school career and say oh this is how it would have been if i was recruited by this school this school this school this school whatever but the mode was long the mode was a little too long. When it first came out, you did kind of start just with the playoffs. And then they expanded it to where you basically played a full season of high school football. You know, they had the Nike Spark training, but you the camp thing, you never did any other training stuff. So even now, like, I think it would have been cool for them in this year's Road to Glory that, okay, instead of us picking our stars, let us do the Nike Spark camp. And let us do some of the drills that you have in, in Madden where you run your 40 uh, possibly do bench press and you do some position specific drills. I think that would have been a better approach. But at the same time, like while that is fun, that is interesting. That is merely the tip of the iceberg for the entire game mode. You know what I'm saying? Once you were done playing your high school career, like there were times in Road to Glory, and this is real talk, even with the high school, where I was like, okay, I want to start over Road to Glory or I want to play a different position. And I had to do the tedious job of playing all the way through high school all over again. Now, you could simulate these games, but I don't think you could super sim. I don't think super sim was a thing for the Road to Glory mode, which may playing the game. No, the, uh, yeah, I think they did it. In 14, they did have super sim where you could just start the game and sim all the way through. So I take that back. But 
you know, being able to play both sides of the ball or one side of the ball or this or that, you know, it, it, it did get kind of redundant. And it was at times where it was like, dude, I'd love to play Road to Glory, but I really don't feel like going through the high school again. But I do want to get up to a five-star rating. Because let's be honest, guys, at the end of the day, that's what we all strive for, to be a five-star, be in the ESPN top 300, okay? So the fact that they've taken it out, you know, on the surface, yeah, I was pretty bummed about it. It wasn't a deal breaker, but when you really look at the grand scheme of things, it it was it was water it, it was it was water under the bridge. You know what I'm saying? So this is what Campus Legends started out. This is how you got your rating and stuff like that was with the drills. But let's continue. To selecting your school. Okay, so. Selecting your school scholarship awarded based off of your performance. Like I said, you'd get a star rating. This individual ended up being a four star it says due to your performance in summer camp drills, you have been offered a scholarship from the following schools. When you select the school, you will be placed on their roster as a freshman. You will have four seasons to build your player in a quest to become a campus legend. Unless, of course, you decide to declare for the draft after your junior season. And so from there, depending on your rating, certain schools would offer you and you would just pick your school. OK, cool. And even select. All right. And then cool part, <laughs> you can select your major. Now, this was important because you actually had to do like little tests and stuff based off of whatever you selected. And you can see here at the top, they have an easy. You can go easy. I think normal, uh, hard or very hard or whatever. There was difficulty settings for your major. Your major was basically selecting the difficulty for your dynasty or for your your campus legend. Not so much from a gameplay element, but from um, or from the on the field element, but from off the field element. Because, like I said, you would have to you would have to do these these courses. So it says these majors will require less studying, but fewer attributes will be received. Fewer attributes will receive a bonus for academic excellence. And this is important for one thing, guys. This is coming back. Not, it may not be in the layout like this right here, but it's going to be important that you pay attention to your academics in the new Road to Glory because you will get attribute bonuses for having a good GPA. Now, they already said you, you don't have to take tests and stuff like that like we did back then. Y'all are spooled, but you know what I'm saying? It's still a cool feature. But yeah, so here you would select what major you wanted to do, you know, and like they said, easy. Yeah, it would be easy to maintain your GPA, but you wouldn't get as a beneficial attribute points for it. I like this concept because it's realistic. Like, let's be honest. If I was in college and I was majoring in physical education, like I, it's an easy trip as far as classes. Whereas if somebody's majoring in 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 engineering or computer science or something like that, that requires a lot more time and dedication to studying. And you tend to have brighter individuals that do that kind of stuff. Does that make sense? So it makes sense that those players would get a higher attribute bonus because, you know, they're, they're probably a lot smarter, you know, give or take. OK, let's continue your major. Be sure to pick a major that interests you, because if your grades start slipping, you'll face being suspended by the head coach. Once you have moved. And that's true. That's the same thing. Now, if you, you're going to have to maintain your GPA, you don't have to take tests, but we'll get to that in a second. And so this is what your little dorm room would look like. You had your campus popularity up here, your calendar, which you could. Um, this is how you would cycle through task for the day and then the games for the week. And then see you have scheduled uh, to do each week. That's on, that's on the calendar because they got that highlighted. Into your dorm room. Keep track of how you're doing both athletically and academic. I wouldn't be surprised if this year's setup is kind of similar. Uh, they had the case right here. You can look at your trophies. They have the newspaper here where you can kind of look at news articles and stuff. They had the closet where you can edit your attributes and things like that. Um, and guys, please stay with me. This may be a little bit longer video because I am going to be reading an article right after this that's going to give a little bit more detail in the road to glory. OK, but I wanted to go through this trailer with first. by looking at your progress report here. You will see if you need this. OK, so this is showing their progress report, their academic stuff, and it lets them know currently has a 3.0 GPA major sports medicine. You know what I'm saying? And it's here. So when you start dropping, then you can become Spend more time hitting the books. If you're meeting the. All right. Athletic goals. Okay, that was also a thing. Maintain a quarterback rating of 100 or higher. You've made it. You're on the right track. Pass for more than a thousand yards. You had different goals. Goals your coach has set for you. How many formation bonus? 
And then based on how you practice, when you practice in certain formations, you receive bonus bonuses for that formation because it was sort of a, a trade-off. It's like, okay, you're building knowledge of this particular formation. And so you receive bonuses for so it was beneficial to go and practice out of different formations and stuff like that. Bonuses you have earned during practice and what your pop now, campus popularity was basically your overall goal to becoming a campus legend. Picture this being replaced with brand, uh, with your brand identity or whatever, in that a higher brand identity, um, the more you improve your brand, the more you're going to be able to get um, different brand deals that come along with different attributes, benefits. And one of them they use is like a, a health thing with the cryo chamber. And the end game benefit would be... Um, I think it was something along the lines of like uh, better recovery from wear and tear or something to that effect. Popularity on campuses. <clears throat> Keep a close eye on your campus popularity meter. This will show you how far you have to go in order to become a Hall of Famer once your collegiate days are over. The calendar will keep you up to date on what you have to do each day. Here, you could keep an eye on what games are coming up, when your mid- See, and right here, dude, you actually had to take a midterm exam. Like, no lie. It, you legit had to take one. Like, it, it asked you, I think it was maybe 10 questions, maybe 20. There were several questions on there, but you actually had to take one. Determine final exams are the team's practice. All right, so, and then this is like what your day-to-day -day would look like. Morning, you would have classes. Um, from my understanding, you couldn't skip the classes. I'm not sure. I think you could, but then you also had your afternoon, evening practice, and then your evening event, which you can kind of select what you wanted to do. Picture it now, how it's going to be where, yeah, you'll have classes, you'll have practice, and then you'll probably have some free time to do something which you can devote to either training or you can devote to studying or you can devote to building your brand and different things like that. Mind you guys, there's going to be several different ways to accomplish all of these things. And so there's the replayability in uh, Road to Glory. The schedule mode. and how you spend. Your okay, and then select your evening. You see what they have here. Study, meet with your tutor, position drills, and then picture social activity being replaced with brand deal. Okay, or building your brand. Your evening free time. Do you have? What Does that make sense? So, so conceptually, you can. There, there's gonna be a lot of similarities to Campus Legend, and I'm being honest with you guys. It's fun. And I can see the reason why they wanted to skip high school in this one, because they want to go ahead and get you into all of this, because this was a tedious game mode. It wasn't just go to the game, play the game, go to practice, go to the game like it is in NCAA 14. In NCAA 14, there was no depth to Road to Glory mode. You literally just, hey, it's time to play you, in between the games. You had your little practice where you would uh, build XP, XP points and stuff like that. And then every now and then you do the thing and get the little bonuses and stuff. Perm some of them might be permanent. You can actually purchase some permanent bonuses or temporary bonuses. That'll be replaced with brand deals. And then um, do you still probably have the scout team thing where you compete on scout team. You'll still have position challenges. But the difference will be this year is that where before, once you became a starter, you was the starter no matter what. Now you can lose your position. And that's crazy dope. But let's get into this article, guys. So I appreciate y'all for staying with me this long. Um, the article comes from Uprox. I'll put a link to this article in the description. There's another one from The Atlantic that was very much in depth. But for some reason on that website, it makes you try to sign up for it before you can read the rest of the article. And sometimes it lets you read it. So whenever I can get access to that again, um, we'll go through that. But it says here. Uh, one of the things we were quick to note is that Road to Glory is a 10 to 20 hour story mode, meaning it should take 10 to 20 hours of gameplay to complete. Guys, this is false. OK, this is not a story mode. Some of the other content creators have come out and even said this, that no, maybe they misunderstood some of the stuff in the presentation. But people were saying that it's a 10 to 20 hour story mode. That is not true. While there does have story elements, it's not like a long shot where you're skipping through games. And oh, all of a sudden it's your freshman year and then they fast forward in time to like the last game of the season. It's not like that. From what I've heard, you'll get to play out your full college career because there are certain things that happen even in the off season where you could transfer and things like that. So ignore this. It, now, 10 to 20 hours, where does that come from? Maybe it's talking about overall. You know what I'm saying? It may take 20 hours to get through an entire season per se. Um, so that makes me question as far as game time. Like, how can you 
uh, schedule, like can you change the time it takes to play games or does it super sim? You may say, oh, well, we won't get through games very fast. You got to understand this. You're only going to be playing one side of the ball. OK, the other is going to be simulated. So you are going to kind of get through games fairly quickly, if that makes sense. But this is it's not a story mode per se, guys. Don't think long shot. Don't think uh, 2K story mode, bunch of cut scenes and stuff. That's not what this is. OK, um, like I said, meaning it should take 10 to 20 hours of gameplay. OK, so that's like getting through the elements of the story kind of deal or the elements of the mode. OK, but no, this is not a story mode. You will be able to play all your games. You will be able to play all four years of college. What's interesting, and I don't know if they'll talk about it here because I haven't read this one in particular. You will also get to um, if you don't do well, the, the game does have a four game red shirt rule in the game. That is super cool. It's even in dynasty mode where you can play four games before you decide to red shirt. Now, I don't think from what I read some of the other stuff in Road to Glory, I don't think you can choose to red shirt. The coach has to red shirt you. So they kind of looked at a back way, a loophole to kind of just say, get in there and do terrible and you'll get red shirted kind of deal. So, but let's read on. There's pretty short amount of time for a career mode. Once again, guys, don't pay attention to that because that's not how it works. You will get to play your full college seasons. Okay. And I'll find, I'll try to find an article that talks about that. Um, it's in a couple of YouTubers videos where they actually debunk that. And this is from guys who were actually there. But it's part of the uniqueness of a college football game where you play four years or five if you redshirt as a freshman and know there is not a COVID year in the video game. As such, they wanted to make it an extremely replayable mode where you can make different choices and have different outcomes through the experience. That part is true. But let me say this again because I know some people don't listen sometimes. Ignore that 10 to 20 hour story mode. This is not a story mode. This is a full career mode with story elements. But it's you're not we're not going to finish our road to glory mode in 20 hours i'm telling you straight up okay there's different elements that would add up to 20 hours worth but they're not i don't think they're what i'm saying is i don't think they're talking about time on the field if that makes sense so all right so it says here the structure will be pretty simple you will choose from one of five positions quarterback running back wide receiver middle linebacker and a cornerback more than likely, guys, you know, this is in line with Madden because you will be able to export your Road to Glory character to Madden. So people are saying, oh, that's a bummer. We don't have that many positions. They could have easily done this to align with Madden because remember, Madden is getting a new physics engine. And with a new physics engine, they tend to go back to square one as far as stuff like this is concerned. OK, because time has to be devoted to other things. All right. You will also pick an archetype, which is position dependent and will determine your skill tree. You cannot max out the complete skill tree. Listen to this. You cannot max out the complete skill tree, including your mental and physical abilities, because it is no longer a matter of accruing points and putting them everywhere. But instead, it's all about building up areas you pre-select. So, guys, that is really cool. And this is where the replayability comes into play or some of the replayability is that, you know, this go around, you may want to be this type. OK, and if I'm a uh, if I'm a dual threat quarterback, I'm I'm not going to be able to max out my throwing stuff. You know what I'm saying? If that makes sense, there are certain elements and, and I'm sure there's more depth to this that we don't know. But I'm just talking about an on the surface type of deal. That is a cool thing, similar to Dynasty Mode, how we can't max out our coaching skill trees. In Road to Glory, we can't max out our performance skill trees. Doesn't mean you can't get a 99 overall at a, at a certain attribute. It's talking about your skill tree, okay? So, no longer will you start in high school. Instead, picking your level as a recruit at the beginning to determine how hard your grind will be to getting playing time. So, this they've sort of implemented a underlying difficulty mode, if that makes sense. You remember how I showed you on the Campus Legend trailer where you picked your major and that that provided another layer of difficulty. Now, if you really want to challenge, similar to how we do in Dynasty mode where we do a rebuild with a bad team and it's a very hard grind, it's the same way in Road to Glory, only with your player, you can choose to be a two-star. And then you can choose all the way up to a five star. Why you can't be a one star, I don't know. I don't know because some players don't have stars at all, but I have to digress. So if you choose a five star, you'll start out with a 79 overall. And that's cool because 
Now, ratings wise, I would imagine they'll take the same approach with Madden where, you know, a good player is a 80 overall, a great player. An outstanding player is 90 plus overall. You know what I'm saying? Four star, your start off is 75, three star 70 and a two star 65 overall. If you choose to be a two star, you will have to really spend a lot of time in practice before you get onto the field. That means a, a scout team. And this is why I'm telling you another reason why, guys, this game is not this game mode is not you're not going to complete a full season in 20 hours. I'll just put it like that. Does that make sense? You know, because of practice and all the other stuff, the game, the actual game itself, you know, now off the field stuff. Yeah, maybe 20 hours worth of stuff in that. But actually on the field playing is going to extend this game. mode. But the fact that you'll have to practice to do that, that's really dope. Um, if you're a five star, you will still have to win a position battle. So that means you ain't going to just be able to start out as a starter. Now, they may have an option in the settings where you can collect automatic starter. That's possible because they've had it in previous games, including Madden. Um, more on that in a bit. To get a starting point from there, you will pick the things that are most important to you among 14 pitch grades each school has. And you will get offers based on your star level and what schools align with what you deem most important. So this adds another layer to the recruiting thing, which I like it because, hey, if you want to go to the University of Texas, but you picking that, you know, I don't know. I'm just throwing something out there that academics isn't important to you and that you don't care about making it to the NFL. The University of Texas might not offer you a scholarship. You know what I'm saying? So you could miss out on a dream school based off of your parameters that you pick for your pitch grades and what's important to you. Interesting enough. All right. Remember the trailer we watched, okay, where you entered a dorm room. I told you it would probably be kind of the same setup. Listen what they say here. Once you are in school, you will not have a dorm room like the old game. So that dorm room setting, mm -mm, we ain't having that. But instead, most of the mode will be done out of the main screen with different scenarios popping up on your phone throughout. And this is where that 10 to 20 hour story mode thing comes along. It's talking about these kind of gameplay elements, like the, the scenarios popping up, the choosing to do practice or the choosing to build your brand. And they're talking about stuff like that. They're not talking about on the field things. So you will be playing a full season. OK, we put that theory to bed. All right. But that is interesting that you're not in the dorm room. You're just kind of at a main menu kind of deal. I want to see the layout of this. I hope it is uniquely interactive and not just a poster with a menu you know what i'm saying kind of dull not that i really care even to be honest with you but i have to digress um you will manage your time each week and have to decide to have to how to balance your schedule between the five areas of focus academics leadership health training and brand guys this is going to be really important Academics is going to determine your GPA. If your GPA is not good, you're going to be academically ineligible. Your leadership is, is tied to coach trust uh, from what I've read in other articles. Your health is going to be crazy important because remember, wear and tear is an actual thing. And then training as far as increasing your attributes and then your brand as far as building brand awareness for yourself, a.k.a. NIL, so that you can get brand deals to give you boost and stuff to your attributes and things like that. How you choose to manage your time will determine everything from your eligibility, i.e. academics, to play. Yes, you can go academically ineligible to whether you get to challenge for a starting job, i.e. your training. OK, going too far in any direction means neglecting another. And that's very similar to the previous or I ain't gonna say the previous games because it wasn't like that in, in NCAA 14's Road to Glory. This is how it was in Campus Legend. If I just train, 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 train and didn't go to school, didn't take tests, I'd be academically ineligible. If I just focused on studying, you remember when I showed y'all the um, let's go back and find it. Uh, the, the stuff right here. OK, if I, this is your extra time event kind of deal. If I spend all my time in position drills, then, you know, my GPA could potentially drop. If I spend all my time social activity, let's replace this with building a brand. Then I may not be as good on the field. OK, so understand those types of things. That's what they're talking about. Um, going to. OK, we're right here. On the other hand, it's not simply a matter of balancing everything out because that, too, will mean leaving things on the table. And so what they mean by that is 
it may be a thing that pops up. Remember, let's go back up to this scenario thing where they talked about. Um, where did it say it at? Right here with different scenarios popping up on your phone throughout. OK, so you may have a scenario popping up. Let's say we're here and this is just an older game, but it is going to be relevant. We're here at the extra event portion. All right. And then you got a choice to study. Your GPA is not low, but you do need to study. There's going to be a meter, I think, that'll fill up or whatever, whatever. But still. And so a thing pops up and says, maybe it's the coach that says, hey, uh, quarterback wants to get some extra reps in throwing on the field. Blase, blase. But it's like, ooh, I really need to study. But, yeah, you know, so you say, oh, no, I'm going to just go study instead of doing that. Well, while that may be a positive to your academics and while it might not lower your attributes, maybe it could lower some trust within the coaching staff or the players because the coach is like, well, dude, your GPA is fine. Like you could have came out and got some extra work with your teammates kind of deal. And I'm just speculating. Does that make sense? But that's along the lines that that stuff kind of works. OK, um, we're down here. The primary goal of the mode is to make decisions that are not clearly black and white oh they're going to explain that cool okay so listen as they explained it the goal was to create ethical gray areas with the various dynamic scenarios that will present themselves throughout the game even things that seem like a good choice may have a negative consequence and that's kind of what i just explained and vice versa by doing so they hope to make the story element really matter rather than cut scenes Rather than cut screens, you're just clicking through to get to the game. Does that make sense? And this is, again, why I'm telling y'all, it's not a story mode per se. You create the story. Does that make sense? By the decisions that you make, you're creating your own story. That 10 to 20 hour deal is not including your games. That's including everything but your games. 10 to 20 hours worth of content per season? Or maybe overall, I think it's more overall because it's talking about career mode, your four years. Regardless, that's still a lot of content. Does that make sense? So how will they do that? Well, let me dive into the five areas. They're going to tell you, OK, let's back up. By doing so, they hope to make the story element really matter. Rather than cut screens, you are just clicking through to get to the game. So now they're going to explain how they're going to do that. And they start with academics. When they announced that you would have to maintain your GPA, many people laughed at the idea you'd be taking tests in the game. That is happily, or I guess for a few, sadly, me, I kind of like the test. It was a cool thing. Not the case, okay? Instead, you simply have to allocate some hours to studying. So I guess what we're going to have is they're going to go back, and they did have this in later renditions of Campus Legend, and I want to say maybe Road to Glory, where you had an hour thing. You had, you had so many hours in the week, and you had to allocate those hours to certain things. And so you weren't able to do everything. OK. And I think they had this. in yeah. Yeah. The older campus legends. Um, instead of you simply uh, have to allocate some hours to studying because there will be tests on your schedule. OK. So there are tests, but you don't actually take them. And if you are not prepared, as indicated by a progression bar, remember that progression bar I told y'all? That's going to tell if it's if it's I would let's say it's in the green or red. If it's in the red and you got a test, you finna fail that test. So you do have to allocate some hours to academics to keep this meter up. That way, whenever your tests come, you're prepared for it. Does that make sense? You could fail and become academically ineligible. If that happens, you have to spend extra time with tutors, which will further set you back elsewhere. Remember this right here. Meet with the tutor. So even in this game. This is 08. Whenever you were academically ineligible, you couldn't do position drills, and I don't think you could do social activities. The only thing that was, I think those were grayed out, and the only thing you could do was meet with a tutor. Um, all of the other elements will come with potential boosts to your skill trees, and academics figure to boost your mental abilities on the field as well. Rightfully so, as they should. Okay. The higher your, your academics, the more you're able to tap into some of those mental attributes. That's really cool. All right. Leadership and position battles. Leadership is where you bank coaching trust points. OK, so we get points that we can put into leadership, I see, which are how you get on the field. Allocating time here means getting into the film room and doing the necessary football work that's not 
that's not on field drills to show your coach and teammates that you are committed. Interesting. Interesting. Um, when you get enough coach trust and catch a teammate ahead of you on the depth chart, you will trigger a position battle. The position battle brings back the glorious return of many games, and you will have to win a best two out of three against your teammate in that mini game in order to earn that spot. If you win, you will gain a big boost of coach trust. We saw a plus 1500 to a starting for a starting job which solidifies you in that spot for at least a few weeks, okay? So you'll have some weeks to be a starter. If you lose, you will only lose a bit, minus 100 per the screen we saw. But your teammate gains a bunch, and you will have to wait for another shot and keep, and keep piling up points to trigger another. So if you lose, you don't take a big hit. However, your opponent or your teammate, he gets a big boost, which puts him even further ahead of you. So it's not, and they do this, the reason they do this, guys, is because if they didn't give them a boost, you'd simply be able to challenge for a starting spot the next week. They give them a boost so that just like you have a few weeks to be the starter, the other guy has a few more weeks to be the starter as well, and you have to work back up to challenge for that spot, okay? But your teammate gains a bunch, and you will have to wait for another shot and keep piling up points to trigger another. Literally, I just said the same thing. A key element of this is your computer teammates are also always earning coach trust. And if you start to struggle as a starter, they might catch you and force you into a position battle, which means winning the starting job is only the beginning as you have to perform to keep it. I am so thankful that they put this into the game because I hated that about EA Sports college football. I mean, the NCAA 14 football game where once you was the starter, you was the starter forever. I used to play that and be like, man, it'd be cool if like they can catch you because in realistic, the football, just because you're the starter, you like, I can literally stop training at that point because I wasn't going to lose my starting job. The game would even tell you, you have now become the starter. You can still train and practice to get XP to increase your attributes, but you were at no threat of losing your starting position. If you remember that in the comment section down below, put I remember that, okay? But that's really cool. So now that, dude, your, your starting spot is not guaranteed. I love it. That means if you lose, you won't be able to get a do-over immediately, okay? You'll have to wait until your trigger, until you trigger the next one. And that goes back to what we was explaining up here. All right, so your health. This is where wear and tear system comes into play. Read more details about that here. Through, oh, okay, we ain't even we already read about wear and tear. Throughout the season, you will cure wear and tear on different body parts by taking hits. And when you get too much in one spot, you'll start to lose attribute points for certain skills that are tied to those areas. You'll need to put some hours into recovery in order to stay healthy throughout the season or else risk getting hurt and missing time. You don't want to do that. And which is really cool that you can even get hurt in, in Road to Glory because in past Road to Glory modes, I think you can get, I don't I don't ever remember ever being able to get hurt. And if you did, it wasn't for like a whole game. Let me know if y'all was ever injured in y'all's Road to Glory modes. But this is cool, guys, because like I told you, we'll have hours to allocate into stuff and your health is important. Training. Training is practices and on-field work where you gain XP and can boost your ratings and skill trees. Interesting. So that's similar to, so in NCAA 14 Road to Glory, you went to practice. You had to practice. You got XP points. And you could use those XP points to purchase uh, either permanent boost or temporary in-game boost. I don't know how they're going to do it here. If you can just allocate, the, allocate those XPs into raising your attributes and stuff. That's what it sounds like. But it says here where you gain XP and can boost your ratings and skill trees which you could do that on 14 too i want to say you did have skill trees on there somebody let me know i do not remember that part of it but there you go uh however it says here okay my bad the more time you spend here the faster the faster the faster you'll see that overall rating rise however that could come at the expense of something else and having a great overall won't help if you aren't able to be on the field for academic reasons injuries or lack of coaching trust so i'm so glad they separated these two things okay training 
and where is it at leadership and position leadership are two different things in ncaa 14 in order to earn coach trust all you had to do was meet certain goals on the field does that make sense now that's not the case in order to earn coach trust you have to actually do leadership things um and it says here allocating time here means getting in the film room and doing the necessary football work that's not on field drills so I'm interested to see, like, is this going to be something we just select and it, and it just simulates or is this something we're going to actually have to do? But that is cool. Allocating time to coach trust, getting into the film room, uh, talking with players, you know, all, anything on not on the field. So this is off the field stuff. That is super dope. All right. Um, we talked about that. So brand. The final piece is the NIL portion of Road to Glory where you can sign brand deals to get fans and boost your following so i imagine they're going to show us a little ticker that's going to have the number of fans we have and stuff like that possibly now this might seem like the least important thing and easiest section to put off however each brand deal will come with in-game boosts that will help you out and boosting your following could be important for the portal <laughs> so if I enter the transfer portal and I don't have a lot of fans, don't expect to go to a big time school. However, the more fans I have, guys, and I know people on the surface is going to say that doesn't make any sense. Bull crap. Yes, it does. Why? Because these schools are always trying to improve their brands because it's bringing money to the school. Guys, we now have a college football game that's bringing us real life elements. Because if you think for a second that the University of Alabama doesn't care about their image as a university, you're sadly mistaken. The bigger the image, the bigger the money that they make on games, on merchandise, on likenesses, all of that. Now we're actually getting to experience the effects of that in game. So the more fans you have, if you choose to enter the transfer portal, you have a better chance of being able to go to the school of your choice rather than, you know, and I would imagine once you enter the portal, you'll have it'll be similar to the 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 beginning screen where you have certain schools that are offering you the more fans you have, then possibly the the more choices of you of schools that that'll be interested in you. OK, Um, that is real cool, though. All right. So right here, the example they gave us was having a deal with a cryotherapy business that helps you heal faster, requiring fewer points spent on health during the week. So now you see the benefit of getting a brand deal. So now if I say, for example, I did get this cryotherapy business to be my brand deal and I get a boost, automatic boost every week to my health. Now I don't have to allocate points to that during the week and I can allocate points in somewhere else, i.e. training or a coach trust or whatever. So you see the benefit in importance of building your brand as well now you may say well dm what are uh the benefits of building why you know if i don't ever plan on transferring why do i care here's why here's why another reason because guys your coach can leave during road to glory mode previous road to glory i don't think you ever got a new coach in here your coach can leave and if a new coach comes in guess what your coach trust has to start all over. So a new coach can come in and you might not even be the starter no more. Think about that and you got to work your way back up. So enter the transfer portal. Hey, I've already built trust with this other coach, my previous coach. So I can transfer. Let's say he goes and beats the head coach or offensive coordinator somewhere else and I'm playing quarterback. I can choose to enter the portal. And so long as I have enough fans and his school wants to offer me, if I go to that school, I don't have to rebuild coach trust because he already knows me. Tell me that ain't dope. It's very similar to dynasty mode. Remember, I told you if you're in the top three of those recruits, they will remember that you recruited them. They'll be tied to you same way as every coach in dynasty mode has players that are kind of tied to them, i.e. coach trust for dynasty mode. And if you fire that coordinator or coach, those players may enter the portal and go with them. That's crazy, though. <laughs> Y'all, man, this is dope, man. This is dope. All right. So let's 
Okay, they got dynamic, dynamic scenarios. Let's read this. We got even more juicy info, guys. Throughout the game, you'll be presented with various options, and you'll have to pick what to do with consequences that could be both positive and negative at the same time. For example, and this is talking about some of those scenarios from earlier. It's going into detail about it. You might be asked to go do something with teammates instead of studying and might earn some coaching trust in leadership category. But if it means you are underprepared for an upcoming test, your GPA might drop and you could be in danger of becoming academically ineligible. Guys, that's why it's important. I would say early on to get your academic bar up so that when stuff like this pops up, you don't have to worry about this and you don't lose coach trust. But this is all about balancing, guys. I freaking love it. Y'all who have never played Campus Legend, you are going to love this because it adds so much depth to the game mode. I promise you. OK, these will pop up throughout your career. And the goal is to force you into some choices that aren't obvious. OK, with how you're balancing the five main areas always needing to be at the top of your mind. All right. Game day. All of these things you do during the week will impact you on the field on game day as well. Your mental and physical attributes will determine some in-game boosts as well as aforementioned brand deals. <clears throat> Your coaching trust will determine play calling options. Bruh. So if the coach don't trust you, don't expect to have plays to get you the ball. That's crazy though, bro. That is sick, man. And for quarterbacks, whether you can hot route or audible, that's been a thing before. OK. Uh, your health will also impact play calling. A banged up quarterback won't get options called. <laughs> Dude, this has so much more depth into managing your players, y'all. And if you have piled up wear and tear and not done what's needed to get it down during the week, you will be at risk of an injury and have diminished stats. This is very similar to real life, guys. Coaches will tell you when you oh, coach, my knee hurt. Have you been going to therapy? Or have you been going to see the trainer? Have you been going to that? And, and I'm telling you, anybody that's a play college football, I tell you, you get players that don't. And coaches, they they not. Hey, if you're not doing what it takes to get better, don't expect me to put you on the field. And this includes going to get uh, treatment. That's cool, man. All right. Red shirting. Listen to this, fellas. Like in real life, you can red shirt a year if you play four or fewer games. The game, and this is in dynasty mode too, by the way. The game will automatically do that for you, meaning if you simply can't win that position battle to get on the field or get hurt one year, you'll get that fifth year. What? You cannot demand a red shirt and refuse to play, but could tank practices and games and try to drop out of a position battle to do so if you really want it. So if you wanted to hint, hint, get a red shirt year and guys, I, I'm just I'm just par I'm just speculating here. If your red shirt. I mean, does academics matter if you're academically ineligible, you still get to practice. You just can't play. No, I think in college, if you're academically ineligible, I don't even think I know you can't play. Yeah, you still got to go to practice. I was going to say, no, nah, you can't even go to practice, but no, nah, you can't play. But anyway. So think about being redshirt. That's another thing. Maybe you want to boost your stats up and stuff like that. If you're a two-star or a three-star guy, redshirting may be a good option, especially if you're trying to be a two or a three-star going to a bigger school, which those bigger schools probably won't even offer you, to be honest with you. But you know what I'm saying? Redshirting is an option here, okay? If you're playing and you're like, oh, I'm, I just can't get you know better to position battle for a starting spot and things like that, or maybe you want to focus on the year to building up your player to be a better athlete on the field or focus on your brand or whatever for that first year. Red shirting is an option. That's that's really. But you can't choose to be red shirt. OK, like they said, transfer portal. The transfer portal will be available to you every offseason. Like I told y'all guys, you'll get to play full seasons in this game, like in real life and will work like recruiting did at the beginning when you picked your first team. You'll get offers from teams that fit your preferences. All right. So your preferences are still key. You don't get to reselect your preferences, though. Your preferences are selected at the beginning. Very interesting. So keep that in mind. If my preferences didn't match, you know, 
Anyway, I really enjoyed that one example they showed was a guy that really cares about academics. So his top school was Vandy. Why? Because Vanderbilt is big on academics. So is Stanford. If you do this in a video game, God bless you. <laughs> uh, but it's realistic, bro. I like that. Anyway, the coaching carousel will also be happening in the offseason. So your coach might leave, which impacts coach trust with the new guy coming in. And you might choose to follow your old coach to his new school. I told y'all, man. I told you, man. Dude, that's crazy dope. All right. Chasing records and awards. Uh, there will be a robust record-keeping system so you can go after national conference. Oh, cool. Conference. I like that. And school records in various categories. I like this because I know before we had... Um, I think I know we had national records. I don't think they had school records or conference records. So the fact that those are there are really cool. The same will go for awards at the conference and national level levels, along with all conference and all American teams. That was already there. The, the, the addition here, guys, is school and conference records. No, conference records. I don't think school records was a thing. I mean, I think school records was a thing. I'm sorry. Anyway, exporting to Madden, this is the last part. Hashtag made it to the end if you made it to the end. Something that will be exciting to fans that get both college football and Madden is that you'll be able to export your road to glory player to superstar mode in Madden. That means you have the opportunity to go from recruit to NFL legend across two games and could spend 20 years with your road to glory player instead of just four. So I guess road to glory in Madden is going to be 16 years. I don't know. Speculatory. Dude, that is super duper cool. So tons of information here. Like I said, I'm going to put this article in the pinned comment so that y'all can come and read it for yourselves. Like, dude, that's that's crazy dope that they have that in the game, man. Like, I'm super excited to see and experience all of this. Guys, let me know what y'all think down in the comment section down below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, man. We are doing the dang this all gas no breaks in the coverage of this game keeping y'all stacked until the game comes out and when the game comes out expect some gameplay dog expect some uh playthroughs with the with the playbooks expect to get the road to glory experience with me expect to get the rebuild series with me and things like that guys that's all i got for right now Till next time thanks for watching peace